on a day where the entire Call of Duty YouTube community is uploading one minute, two minute videos talking about <laughs> the Call of Duty Ghosts multiplayer screen where it says squad. That's it. It's a squad. A six second clip taken from a cell phone. The Call of Duty Ghosts menu screen that says squad. It's got every single scamentator in the business drooling, uploading their quick videos, going for that cash grab. Not that I blame you. Get money, baby. Get money. Get paid. Just you know your boy Thunder could give a flying fuck about any of that COD ghost shit because that's exactly what it's going to be. Shit. <laughs> Sorry you don't want to hear it, but it's the truth. You know Thunder, man. I like these old school Call of Duties better. They're simple. They're fun. You know, there's nobody running with the gun pointing at the ground, looking the other direction, smoking you. There's no snipers quick scoping the fucking piss out of you in the blink of an eye with the scope 10 feet above the, your head. There's none of that bullshit going on, dude. I love the old school Call of Duties. I'm an old school Call of Duty fan. Uh, they tried to do too much with this franchise, I think. They tried to be innovative. What they really did was destroy it. And the numbers are reflecting it, guys. Call of Duty goes way behind Black Ops 2 and MW3 in pre-sales. Way by I mean, Black Ops 2 is already way behind MW3, 4 million units behind to be exact, and Call of Duty Ghost is even farther behind that. I mean, the, the, the franchise is dying, fellas, it really is. I know it doesn't seem like it is, because, you know, the hype machine's going, but trust me, it is, fellas, it's, uh, it, it's over, especially when these other franchises come out of the woodwork, like Respawn with their game, Titanfall, uh, Destiny, there's gonna be other games, guys, other games are gonna come. You know, it's like when you were growing up as a kid and you fell in love with that one girl and you thought that was all oh, that one boy. I know, I know I got female viewers. But you fell in love with someone. You thought that was it for you. Like, this is it. This is my baby. It's just me and her. Oh, till someone else comes along and then you start questioning, you know, is this real? Or, you know, hey, there's going to be another shooter that's going to come down the pipeline, guys. Trust me. I know there is. Call of Duty, it, it's almost over. The party's almost over, Activision. <laughs> and there we go. I pick up the Kujos. I killed somebody with an artillery strike? Two people? <laughs> Is this a fake video? And no, it's not, fellas. But hey, listen, guys. I, yeah, a six second video of a title screen that says squad. And I don't know what the fuck that means. That's probably the ghost version of League Play. Squad Play. Who knows what that means, squad? I have no idea. It could be their uh, secret alternate game mode. That uh, they're talking about. They said there's going to be a third game mode in there besides multiplayer and single player. Maybe they're going to have squad. I don't know. Who cares? Who no? I don't even give a shit. Who cares, dude? We're going to see the multiplayer reveal in like 10 days. You know, whatever. Not expecting too much from that either. But I do know one thing. <laughs> My boy Thunder T will be hooking you guys up with the freshest trailer re-upload you've ever seen. Make sure you check that out. And I know a lot of Thunder T fans out there were expecting a two-minute Thunder T video with some random gameplay talking about the multiplayer release date for cod ghost but not even that not even thunder t would cover something like that dude that's just that's just too low level uh oh we'll get smoked by the arasaka world of war snipers were great dude they really were man see back in the day dude just the game was so much simpler before you know i mean if i was to blame one person on youtube for all the goddamn quick scoping it would have to be hutch hutch did to snipers what Wings of Redemption did to noob tubers in MW2. It's like, Hutch just got everyone obsessed with quickscoping. He really did. I mean, if Hutch never did YouTube, I mean, shit, there'd probably be way less quickscopers. Way less. But anyway, <laughs> not hating on Hutch, man. Just calling it like it is. So please don't take it the wrong way. I definitely respect Hutch. I don't watch his videos, but I definitely respect him. He's an OG YouTuber, and, uh, you know, he's got lots of fans. And uh, we lost the lead. How the fuck did we lose the lead? You've got to be kidding me, son. I'm smashing these dudes. We lost the lead. Oh, my God. Why do I get the worst teammates ever? Look at that long shot with the Tommy, man. I'm telling you, dude. I love this gun. But the only thing that sucks in World of War, man, is the ammo. There's, like, hardly any ammo. The guns run out of ammo so fast. I'm just checking my teammates' scores right here. Look at this shit. 19 and 1. <laughs> and we're barely winning. Oh, man. Definitely don't have any pro players on my team. I could use some eSports. Some eSport jocks on my team right about now. And, yo, that's another thing I want to talk about, guys. What is with all the hate towards eSports? Like, the pro players. I call these dudes eSports players and shit, and everyone gets all offended. That's not a real sport. That ain't no goddamn sport. It's a fucking video game. You know, people get mad when you call 
uh, these pro players, esports guys. Well, guys, it's not like sports sports. There's an E in front of the sports. It's esports. I mean, I, I mean, look, there's, if you guys saw the 12 Point Club video, you know there's definitely some talent and definitely some skill going on with these pro players. I mean, they took they took them for four pub stars and made them look like the fucking biggest noobs on the planet. I gotta mute these guys. They're talking way too much. They took them four pub stars and made them look like the biggest noobs on the planet in that game on Yemen. And then the next match on raid, they shut them out six to nothing. And in the final kill cam, they were doing 360 tea bags on everybody. I mean, so I mean, <laughs> look. I know these dudes aren't athletes, right? But there's definitely teamwork going on. There's definitely skill going on because you don't just totally, I mean, slap and humiliate a whole lobby full of dudes who drop 100 plus gameplays every day like that without having some kind of skill. So, I mean, hey, look, man, and I'm not against league play. I'm not against pro players. It's just not something for me. I don't want to be a pro at Call of Duty because I'm already a pro at life. And there's only a certain amount of things you could be a pro at. I'm like a jack of all trades, but I'm a pro at life. Um, I mean, look, man, but there seems like there's a lot of other YouTubers that definitely want to make the switch from pub stomping to competitive, because I've noticed tons of YouTubers taking uh, interest in competitive gameplay, forming teams, confidence is sky high from beasting on noobs and pubs. Uh, it's probably the younger uh, YouTubers, because me, dude, look, man, when you get older and you get a wife and you get a job and you get a house and a yard to take care of, man, after you're done doing all that, you just want to come inside, kick back, have a beer, and just fuck around on the Xbox, man, and just play casually. I can't be like, you know, with my wife, with my baby, going to work, take care of my yard, doing all this shit, you know, cleaning my car, then come in here, and then go all uber competitive on the Xbox, too. I just, I need some time to unwind, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I am mean, ain't no one got time for all that competitive shit. Well, at least I don't, and I get taken out again. And you know what, dude, this is a beautiful thing about... World at War. There's actually a counter to snipers. So I'm gonna switch to the MP40 jug. Like, look at that. I sponge a bullet right there. That would have killed me. If I stayed with my Tommy class, I would have got smoked by that dude camping in the window. And I mean, this is a great thing about Juggernaut, dude. You can move around. <laughs> you can move around. There you go. You can move around. You trade off that stopping power, but you get to move around and take a little extra damage. Juggernaut, a great, great rushers perk. And man, you snipers don't know how you modern day snipers that never played World at War that have no idea what Juggernaut is, you guys got lucky. Because I would have smashed your shit inside out in this game <laughs> if, uh, if Juggernaut was still around in, uh, today. Because that's pretty much the only perk I would use. Because every single goddamn lobby in like Black Ops 2 is at, like 50% snipers. It's absolutely insane. And there you go. That's the gameplay, guys. I carry the fucking team. Backpack Pro as usual. 750 to 665. It's great to be back on World at War without any damn hackers. No, you know, gay pride, rainbow colored clan tag going on in this lobby. And I had Host Pro 36 and 2 carrying a lobby full of noobs. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And please don't forget to titty slap that like button. It's your boy Thunder. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great weekend and peace.